heart of the Limousine region of France lies the small town of Noblac. Though unremarkable in many ways, this town is home to a legend that has been passed down for over a thousand years. It is the story of Saint Leonard, a man who devoted his life to helping others and is revered to this day as a patron saint of prisoners and horses. The story of Saint Leonard reminds us of the power of compassion, humility, and devotion to God. His life is a testament to the idea that even the smallest acts of kindness can have a profound impact on the world around us. And his chapel in Noblock is a place of pilgrimage for those seeking his intercession. Leonard was a Frankish noble in the court of Clovis I, founder of the Merovingian dynasty. The king asked Leonard to accompany him to the local monastery where he could receive spiritual guidance and support. Leonard agreed and the two of them made their way to the monastery. The abbot of the monastery recognized Leonard's spiritual gifts and asked him to stay and help with the work of the church. He was baptized by Saint Remy and grew up in the school run by this great saint. As an adolescent, Leonard refused the invitation to receive a high place in the hierarchy of the church, preferring to work in a more humble role. He then began a life of austerity, sanctification, and preaching. When he grew older, Leonard desired further seclusion, so he withdrew into the forest. He preached and converted many on the way and was living on herbs, wild fruits, and spring water. He followed the steep-sided valley of the River Vienne until he reached a mountain on which grew the forest of Pauvain. Recognizing his holiness, people, students, and monks around begged to live with him, and a monastery was formed. He established a hermitage in this forest below the mountains. Sorry for interrupting the video. I am here to deliver a quick message. If you think our channel has given you $5 worth of knowledge, then can you take a moment to make a donation? Please don't skip the video. 99.8% of our viewers simply skip this, or many think they will donate later and forget. If you make a small donation now, then we can keep making good videos like this one. You can choose to support us through Patreon or make a one-time donation through PayPal. The links are given in the description box below. If you are one of our rare donors, we warmly thank you. You have shown the world access to good content matters to you. Thanks again, and God bless. One day, King Clovis and his wife Clothilde were traveling through the forest. Clothilde was pregnant during this time. Suddenly, Clothilde went into labor. Leonard arrived quickly, and he spoke to them. Pray with me, king, said Leonard as he knelt down. Both of them prayed through the night. By early morning, his wife gave birth to a daughter, who was again named Clothilde. The king was very happy, and he offered that part of the forest that he could ride on his donkey in one night. On this territory, which came to be called Noblot, Leonard built an oratory called Our Lady Beneath the Trees, which is dedicated to the Virgin Mary and Saint Remy. Through his prayers, in a hole dug by his two followers, an inexhaustible water source flowed, 
thus avoiding the effort of bringing water uphill from the River Vienne. Leonard had a great compassion for prisoners and converted many and helped in obtaining their release. He welcomed them after they had been set free. By clearing the land in the huge forest, the former prisoners found they could work the land made available by believing they had a future. They did not have to return back to their former illegal activities. This was one of the most ancient examples of the reinsertion of freed prisoners. Former relatives and servants close to them heard of all the remarkable successes of Leonard and came to give service to God alongside him. He died of natural causes around 559 on the 6th of November. Pilgrims flocked to his tomb, and in one small town in Bavaria, there are records of 4,000 favors granted through St. Leonard's intercession. Around this, miracles continued to be remarked upon, even dead. He created miracles. The renown of the wonders which took place around the tomb of St. Leonard attracted crowds of people to come in pilgrimage, and thus a small town progressively grew up around his tomb, which took his name. O oh, Almighty God, who hast called us to faith in Thee, and hast encompassed us with so great a cloud of witnesses, grant that we, encouraged by the good examples of thy saints, and especially of thy servant Leonard, may persevere in running the race that is set before us. Help us emulate his virtuousness and humility in service to our Christian brethren, until at length, through thy mercy, we with them attain to thine eternal joy. Through him who is the author and finisher of our faith, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.